Of all the things that changed my life for the better most quickly, it was learning how to set goals. And mastering this unique process can have a powerful effect on your life too. One morning at breakfast, shortly after I met Mr. Show, he asked me if he could see my current list of goals. He said, let me see your list of goals and let's go over them and talk about them. Maybe that's the best way I can help you right now. And I said, I don't have a list. He said, well, is it out in the car or at home somewhere? I said, no, sir. I don't have a list anywhere. He said, well, young man, that's where we better start. Then he added, if you don't have a list of your goals, I can guess your bank balance within a few hundred dollars, which he did. And that got my attention. I said, you mean that if I had a list of goals, that would change my bank balance? He said, drastically. That day I became a student of how to set goals. And sure enough, when I learned how, my whole life changed. My income, my bank account, my personality, my lifestyle, my accomplishments. So I'd like to share with you the best I have learned and practiced on goal setting. First of all, I'd like to say that we are all affected by five factors. The first is environment. The second is events. The third is knowledge. The fourth is results. And the fifth and often overlooked factor that affects our lives is our view of the future, our dreams. I won't get into all of these influences here, but let me concentrate on the fifth one, dreams. Of all these five influences, make sure your dreams are the greatest influence on your daily decisions and activities. Put another way, make sure that the greatest pull on you is the pull of the future. For your dreams to greatly influence you, for the future to pull you, your future must be well planned. There are two ways to face the future. One is with apprehension, the other with anticipation. Guess how many people face the future with apprehension? Why? They don't have it well designed. And without really thinking about it, they have probably bought someone else's view of how to live. You will face the future with anticipation when you have planned a future you can get excited about. When you have designed your future results in advance. In this way, the future will capture your imagination. It will exert an enormous influence on you. And to design your future, you must have goals. Well-defined goals are like a magnet. They pull you in their direction. And the better you have defined them, the better you have described them, the harder you work on them, the stronger they pull. And they pull you through all kinds of difficulties, too. Without gold, it is easy to let life deteriorate to the point where you're just making a living. It is not difficult to get trapped by economic necessity and settle for existence rather than substitute. We all have a choice. We can either make a living or design a life. Mr. Shove said to me, I don't think your current bank balance is a true indicator of your level of intelligence. I was happy to hear that. He said, I think you have plenty of talent and ability and that you're much smarter than your bank balance indicates. And that turned out to be true.